All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you this really cool stylized kind of emission shader. You can show it without light. It's just really cool and it gives you that kind of ring lighting you want and it stays the same no matter where you're viewing it from. So it's really, really cool and it's much better than just the basic emission shader that fills out your whole scene and it really shows those details in your model. Obviously shows the low poly look in this, shows those, those bubbles and shows you the, those nice fingernails and things like that. So let's get into making this and it's really, really simple. So if you wanna download this project file, you can get it for a dollar. If you wanna see the node, if you messed up on anything, see, check it. And you can download, it'll come with this model right here. So you can go check that out. That'll be linked in the description. So let's get into the tutorial. So let's go to the shading here and I've I just added a simple principled shader here and I'm gonna go and take the base color and make it pretty dark right around there and keep it there. We're gonna add a mix shader. Go there, add an emission, put it right at that spot, plug it into the shader tab here, and I'm just gonna give it a strength of say 20 and give it a red kind of glowy texture, I mean sh color. So just like that. So let's go tell it what to do here on the factor. So let's add a color ramp here. First COL and plug that in. This is gonna be able to crunch what we're doing right after it. So we're gonna add this really cool node called the layer weight. If you've never heard of layer weight, it's really fun to play with. So we're gonna use the facing output here. And once you see that happening, bam, this is what the layer weight does. It, if you've seen my iridescent shader tutorial, we use layer weight in that as well. So here we go, this is the shader. I'm gonna make this a bit darker, just like that. We're gonna bring the blend down all the way to 200, just like that. You can see the, how the blend works but I'm gonna bring it down to 200. And we're gonna take this color ramp and we're gonna crunch this some more to bring it to the edge, just like this. Almost looks like a tune shader. So we pretty much have it here. This is the look, you can see it. And if you want it to fade some more, I'm gonna bring it actually to B-spline to make it a better fade. So bring it here and bring it here. B-spline looks way better in this case. So this is the shader, and of course you can go down here and say I want it to look kind of purplish. Boom, we have this really, really nice shader. Now this is a pretty short tutorial, so I'm gonna show you guys a little trick. If I hit B, box select, and select all these and hit Control G, we get this little material, I mean this output. So say I wanna condense this or give this note to someone they don't really know how to. what I'm doing here. What I can do is I can drag this group and put to say color. If I hit tab, it brings it out. And now we just have this right here. And you can just play around and add whatever color. And then if you click on it and hit tab, you can go back. So we take this little icon right here, plug it into blend. Now we have the blend as well. So this is really cool and a really fun way to condense your node groups if you just wanna save this for later and you don't have to dig through a bunch of nodes if you have a big node tree. So there you go, a little added input, a little added trick, because this was a pretty quick an easy tutorial. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you learned something and thanks for watching.